Lockheed Martin's F-16 Viper may stand a chance on the MRF project. If the Swedish parliament still have the Memorandum of Understanding for the JAS-39 Gripen C-D deal pending. This means that things that the ongoing limbo of the Swedish parliament's ratification of the Memorandum of Agreement for 14 Saab JAS-39 Gripen C-Ds may face danger, as there are no movements in the multirole fighter jet project despite being the preferred candidate compared to the more capable yet more expensive F-16 Block 70 70 seconds Viper. In an era marked by rapid geopolitical shifts, the Philippines, a nation rich in history and culture, stands at the threshold of a sophisticated transformation to bolster its air defense capabilities. A crucial focal point in this endeavor is the strategic decision-making surrounding the multirole fighter MRF project, where two primary contenders, the F-16 Viper by Lockheed Martin and the JAS-39 Gripen C-D from Sweden, are engaged in a competitive battle for a pivotal role in the Philippines' air defense architecture. The two main contenders, F-16 Viper and JAS-39 Gripen C-D, bring unique characteristics and advantages to the table, intensifying the competition. The F-16 Viper, manufactured by Lockheed Martin, is a battle-tested and proven advanced fighter aircraft with a global track record. On the other hand, the Gripen C-D, developed by Saab in Sweden, offers a distinctive blend of high performance and cost-effectiveness. The uncertainty surrounding the Swedish parliament's ratification of the Gripen C demo poses a potential threat to this candidate. If the Swedish parliament fails to ratify the MO, Gripen C D could lose its chance, creating an opportunity for the F-16 Viper to take a leading role in the Philippine MRF project. This decision goes beyond merely selecting a fighter jet. It involves geopolitical considerations, reliability, and budget efficiency to ensure optimal national security. The Philippines' choice of a multirole fighter jet for its air force marks a pivotal step in building a robust and modern defense capability. With the intense competition between the F-16 Viper and JAS-39 Gripen C-D, coupled with the challenges and opportunities in the ReHorizon 3 project, the Philippines stands at a critical juncture in its journey toward robust national security. The final decision on the acquisition of multirole fighter jets will not only impact the military capabilities of the Philippines but will also have a significant influence on their image and role on the global stage. With careful planning and strategic foresight, the Philippines has the potential to establish itself as a reliable defense force, capable of responding to complex challenges that may arise in the future. Meanwhile, under the leadership of President Marcos, the Philippine government has given the green light to the third phase of the revised AFP modernization program, now known as ReHorizon 3. This decision aligns with an impressive budget of approximately PHP 2 trillion over a 10-year implementation period. ReHorizon 3 aims to address the defense needs of the Philippines with a focus on a comprehensive archipelagic defense concept. This includes enhancing power projection capabilities through the acquisition of naval warships and Air Force fighter aircraft. Shore-based defense systems also take center stage, emphasizing the need to counter threats from both air and sea in potential wartime scenarios. While the Philippines is on the path to renewal and strengthening defense, challenges loom on the horizon. Political missteps or geopolitical uncertainties could slow down these projects, and changes in regional dynamics could influence Philippine defense policies. Nevertheless, there are substantial opportunities for the Philippines to solidify its position as a reliable and significant regional player. With wise decisions in selecting defense platforms, careful financial management, and strategic investments, the Philippines can stride forward as a major player in maintaining security and stability in the region.